Hi everyone, it's me Brock from TradeNet. Thank you very much for joining my live trading session. You are about to see me trade. You are about to watch me buy and sell stocks and watch my PL, my live recording. Now let's take a look at the market. The market is about to open less than one minute. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 first. The S&P is moving down, actually moved down yesterday. As you can see, we're going to start with a gap up today. Right now, look at the daily. It's important to understand where we're coming from because we have been coming down strongly recently. And I think it's going to continue. However, today we're going to start with a gap up. Watch the S&P 500 right here. We're up 1% percent pre-market time Nasdaq is up 1.4 percent pre-market time market is just about to open we're going to start with a gap up which means we should be looking for stocks which are gapping up and going long more likely that I will long stocks today rather than short first take a look at coin coin is up more than four percent it's a big gap up it's very interesting it means a lot of people are watching it it's up more than four percent volume is great we just started and we already have 400,000 shares and video is looking great of more than 21 million shares first one minute these are one minute candles here mostly most of the time I'm starting with one minute candles it's up two 0.5% LLY is up 13% a great candidate uh, we do have a problem there I'll talk about it later Tesla is up 2% quite interesting let's look for my first trade now these are my main candidate I am watching several others many stocks which are gapping up or gapping down mostly up today because the market's moving up now let's concentrate on coin the first move is down you can see the long topping tail it's up it still is up of course 3.8 percent I'm looking for a reversal when you try to go long at the beginning of the trading session you always try to look for reversal which means you look for a stock that started up is strong more than three percent normally that would mean a very good chance for a gap and go not necessarily three percent could be lower than that but three percent would be the best and more of course so this stock is over three percent it has a nice pullback from the highs I'm looking for a reversal and I may go long later now let's take a look at Nvidia the same idea Nvidia started uh, up two and a half percent right now just two percent LLY should be my main candidate but I do have a problem with that I mean the stock is up 13% that's a huge gap and possibly a huge go afterwards which is great I love it I would love to trade LLY because of this huge gap and again it's being noticed by a lot of people but I do have a problem look at the spread between the buyers and the sellers the sellers are at 375.60 the buyers are at 875.60 buyers at 873 we're looking at almost three point gap I'm not going to trade it now I'm thinking about going long coin it already came down enough enough I'm thinking about my stop loss I'm thinking about my entry point entry could be 185.50 or so approximately two two and a half point stop loss Nvidia I could go long over one or 160 or so um, if it's going to move over 10160 I will go long stop loss could be somewhere under 101 so I'm looking at I don't know 60 70 80 cents maybe a little bit more stop loss I am getting ready to go long I'm watching the buyers I'm watching the sellers and I'm watching the S&P 500 the most important thing is the S&P 500 why because that's what the institutional traders are watching now you can see that we have a gap up today so the S&P is moving up but uh, it's not enough I want to see the market moving up it will help because the, of course the institutions are watching and following and likely to go long Nvidia still at the pullback point again I'm looking for it to move over 10160 it's up 2.3 percent it's not the great uh, setup in terms of uh, you know I would look for over three percent normally but it is Nvidia which means a lot of people are watching it I'm still interested in going long 2000 shares look at the sellers right now at 101 30 40 I'm looking for them to move over 101 60 and then I will go long but seems like it's not that interested in doing so it's actually coming down well I do look for reversal if I'm not going to get the reversal then I'm just not going to go um, and uh, but again it could be very interesting because a lot of people are watching Nvidia Nvidia is being followed so if Nvidia is going to reverse maybe now 
if Nvidia is going to reverse, which could be interesting, it looks like coin is going to be the first. When we go long, real soon, looking for my stop loss somewhere under 183, maybe 183.50 or so. Okay, here we go, over 185, I'm long, 185.44. So approximately $2 stop loss, which should also be my target. Always one-to-one -one risk reward. Uh, Nvidia hasn't triggered yet. I'm long coin. I'm still looking for Nvidia to move over the 1160. You see, there's plenty of uh, candles there. I'm looking for the reversal point there, which I didn't get, not yet. Coin looks great. Coin looks great. Um, just marginally in green right now, 1,600 shares. It's up 3.8%. Again, it means a lot of people are watching it. It's coin. Main people are watching, which is very, very helpful. The more people are watching, more likely it will move up. Um, NVIDIA is up only 2.5%, while coin is up almost 4 which is better. I prefer it that way because, again, more people are watching. Okay, here comes NVIDIA. I'm going long right now, 101.68. Eight. So I'm okay. As you can see, it's a valid reversal. Several candles, one minute candles right there at the lows, but it's not doing what I expected it to do. And I do plan to move out under 101. And it's about to go under. I'm down $1,000. It's not looking great right now. 32 million shares almost 700,000 shares. Both of them are being watched. So why doesn't Nvidia move up? I don't know. It does not look that good right now. But again, as I mentioned earlier, the more people are watching it, the more interesting it becomes because, you know, when a stock is gapping up that much, but again, 4% is better than 2.5%, uh, then people are normally going long. They are following. They are interested in continuing the initial upside move, upside gap. And therefore, my chance to succeed in coin is slightly better. But NVIDIA, and NVIDIA is doing nothing. I'm down $800, almost $900, $900 now. I do plan to move out. Worst case scenario is going to be around $2,000. I'm down. Oh, come on, come on, NVIDIA. Come on, move up. Still trying to make a decision. My assumption earlier was that if it's going to move over 10160, it's going to spike higher. It did not. I'm looking at the S&P 500 because that's the most important indicator. If the S&P is going to move over the highs and it does move over the highs right now, then it is likely that you know institutional traders will step in and push the market higher. Again, they are 80% of the volume. Video is not doing that. It's actually coming back. Oh, it just moved under and I am moving out. I just had a loser. My first trade is a loser. I figured out that once it's going to move under 101, it's also going to move under the lows. Sadly, I was right. That's why I moved out under 101. Okay, a bit later, five minute candles. Coin just reached my target, touched my target. I'm up two points, 3,000. $500, more than two points right now, 1,600 shares. I could sell. This is my target. I'm always looking for a one-to-one -one risk reward. One-to-one -one risk reward means I'm risking $3,000. I'm looking for profit. I'm actually getting more. There's Here comes three points, almost three points, 4,500. That's good. But small pullback, I'm going to cover 1,400 shares if it's going to pull back a little bit now. Covering. Okay. Just sold, sold, not covering, sold, 1,400 shares, left 200, I'm still open. That's not a good, not, not a bad start. I just had a winner, $3,700, NVIDIA, almost $2,000 loser. I'm up $1,700 plus $500, 2,200 or so dollars, 30 minutes into the trading session, not bad at all. Actually quite a good result, one loser, one winner. Again, always remember to use stop loss, but you do not use a stop loss in the system. I let coin run a little bit more, but I did cut my loss in NVIDIA relatively short, as I should. The stop loss was at 101. I expected it to break down and after moving 
while moving under a whole number one on one and look at really what happened there there's a huge crash that happened later you should have stops not in the system in your mind mental stop don't put a stop in the system because stops in the system are not good for your trading health you, they, they will activate sometimes when the stock is just you know coming up and down a little bit you shouldn't have stops in the system anyway um it was a good session for me as you can see I'm still riding 200 shares up $700 with the close 1700 I'm just over $2400 right now it's a good start it's a good day for me thank you very much for watching this uh, video I did trade all my trades were executed with Colmex Pro if you're interested there's links below probably the best uh, platform out there please remember trading equity is extremely dangerous so please start with a demo thank you very much for watching this I'll see you in my next video thank you bye bye